Hello lovely people! Um, so yeah, it's me, back again. Ooh. As you can see, I've got a towel on my head. I've just had a shower. And it's my get ready with me. Ooh. So um, what I'm going to be doing today is get ready with me. 5th of November edition. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So bonfire night. So I'm just going to show you the sort of makeup I would wear to an event on bonfire night. So normally whenever um, it comes to bonfire night where I live, we have a massive fireworks display in one of our local parks and me and my friends all go together and then we come back to ours normally and have hot chocolate and nice stuff. So I am going to show you how I would do with my face, how I would do my hair and that sort of thing. So yeah. So first of all, I've had a shower and I feel nice and clean and fresh so I thought I'd show you what I used. So I have used, for my hair, I've been using the Herbal Essences Naked Range, the volume one. Um, I've only just started using it, as you can see it's quite full, I bought it literally like two days ago. Um, just because I ran out of my other shampoo. So far so good. Um, and it smells like grapefruit and mint. Which is a really nice smell. So, but sadly, it doesn't really come off on your hair. <laughs> it just kind of smells good in the shower and that's about it. So, but they're nice so far. Yeah. Um, I also use, for my face, I use the Tea Tree and Witch Hazel um, Foaming Face Wash from Boots. I've used this for years and it has always worked wonders on my skin. I've got naturally clear skin anyway um, but this just makes it cleaner, <laughs> fresher and it smells really nice as well. Yeah, it's a good one. And it's like a couple of pounds as well so get involved. And also to wash my body with I have been using Zoella's Soak Opera um, Bath Soak and Shower Cream and it's lovely. Um, I got this pretty much as soon as it came out. I'm that keen. Um, and it smells like, it's like vanilla with flowers in it. It's lovely. It's really nice. Well done Zoella. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to sort out my hair. So I just kind of wrap it up in the towel and press it. I don't like shake my head and wobble it around. If you just press it, apparently that stops frizz. It's like a myth. I don't know if it makes a difference to my hair. It just works. So yeah, just press that down and unroll it. Mm -mm. <laughs> Looks great. So I'm just going to get my parting sorted. I have a really bad parting. It's not ideal. Yay! Great. <clears throat> so I'm going to take the Tresemme Liquid Gold hair oil, which I spoke about in my September favourites. <laughs> and I'm just going to take two pumps onto my hand because I've put more than two pumps in my hand before and it ends up getting really greasy during the day. So and just rub it in your hands and just kind of pull it through your hair. and get it all in there. And if you have curly hair, maybe just like twist it into shape. That's what I sometimes do. Great. Next, I'm gonna take Tony and Guy Glamour Serum Drop Shine and Anti Frizz. Can't really see the label very well. Mm. Mm. Tony and Guy. Um, again, same with the hair oil, just take a couple, I'd take like four. This is so old it doesn't really pump anymore. <laughs> and rub it in your hands and do the same thing. So I used to use um, hair mousse whenever I was younger but it made my hair really crusty so I moved on to creams which were great up until a point and then they just stopped curling my hair for some reason so I was like what have I not tried? Oils! I'm gonna try some oils so I tried oils 
and it seems to be working so far so good. I've only really started using them since the summer. Um, so yeah, these are pretty good so far. Woo! Done! So I'm now going to move on to my face. Get this sorted. So I am going to take the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the colour Fair. And I'm just going to put it under my eyes. Get all those dirty bags away. And around my nose. Which seems to be a problem area. Down my chin. And just a little bit above my eyebrows. And I'm done! Yay! <laughs> just kidding. So take middle finger and ring fingers and just pat it in. It's raining so much today. It's awful. <laughs> and just get that all in. There we go. That's me concealed. So I'm going to take the Superdrug BB Cream and the Bourjois Happy Light Serum, mix them together to sort of form a lighter foundation. So just take the tiniest little blob and then a pump from that. And I'm going to use the Real Technique, te I can't say it properly, the Real Techniques buffing brush and just mix it together. Ooh. And blend downwards my face. So as you can see, there's not much of a coverage on this, but because I've got quite a light or a quite clear skin, I use a light coverage most of the time. If that's not for you, just replace what I use with your own products and it'll do the same thing. But just for your skin. Get it down your neck as well. You don't want a dirty line on your face. <laughs> Okay, so next I'm going to take the Rimmel London Clear Complex. I cannot speak today. The Clear Complexion Powder, and this is the translucent one. And I'm going to use the multitasking brush from Real Techniques. Said it right. Yeah. And just swirl it around and pat it on your face. And get it into every like crease and corner <laughs> that you can. Got hair on my face. <laughs> Done. So yeah, it's not a very like heavy coverage. So just kind of do what works best for you and your skin. Um, this is what works for me, but I'm sure that's different for what works for you. Okay, next I'm going to do eyes. So I'm going to take Benefit in the colour Leggy, which is just a nice pale nudie pink brown colour. I talked about it in my last video. Um, and I'm just going to use this magic brush from Superdrug couple of quid, get it, works wonders. And I'm just gonna swirl that over my lid. Just over my lid, I don't wanna go any further than that. Okay, and well, that's plenty. 
just enough to cover your lids. And next, I'm going to take the Essential Crease Brush, Real Techniques again, and the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the color Metallic Pomegranate. And I know it's a cream, and I know this is a brush, but it works really well because it goes like cream to powder. So I'm just going to swirl that about there. And I'm going to put it in the crease of my eye. If you want to know where the crease of your eye is, just pull back slightly on your eye and you'll see a defined line over your eyeball. Bit grim, but that's where it is. So, yeah, and just kind of line over the crease. kind of buff it in. Ooh. Getting all over my face as well. So that makes it more of like a smoky look and because it's like a plummy cranberry colour it works really well for this time of year for bonfire night. And then just the same on the other eye. Next, I'm going to take the eyeliner with no name. I think it's a me, me, me one. My sister got me it for Christmas last year. And I think it's called the Bombshell Liner. But as you can see, the name has come off. It's not ideal for makeup tutorials. So any sort of like liquid eyeliner, gel eyeliner, pencil eyeliner, wherever you want. Ooh! Drop the lid. <laughs> um, so whatever eyeliner works best for you and yeah just go from the outer corner of your eye and just draw a line along the lash line until it gets in to your eye like that and I'm just smearing my face try not to smear your face too much I am yeah okay and then the same on the other eye from the outer side in you can vary on the thickness of your line. I'm going for a sort of like thinnish one. And as you can see, they're not even. So I'm going to do that one again. So there we go. <clears throat> Next, I'm going to take the Space um, NK, K, NK, Space NK eyeshadow brush. It's kind of a thin brush like that and again eyeshadow with no name look how grimy that is Disgusting. and I'm gonna take a sort of darker brown color so I'm gonna take that one and put it along my lower lash line if you want you can use a color like that sort of like a browny charcoal -y gray color and just along the lash line. Doesn't really look like I'm doing much. Like so. Done. Okay, and next I'm going to take the Collection No Clumps um, Definition Mascara. 
don't pump your mascara ladies and just take it and wiggle it up the lash line or the lashes rather So I'm going to make my lashes nice and long for this. Um. So you can use as many or as little layers as you want. And then just a little bit on the lower lashes. Just to define your eyes even more like that and the other eye I don't think they're quite even yet And then again on the lower lashes. Like so. Yay! <clears throat> okay. So that's pretty much the eyes and the face done. And then lipstick or lip gloss or lip balm, whatever you think would work, whatever you fancy. So I'm going to go for like a darker autumnal look. So I'm going to use um, Bourjois Rouge de Rouge, uh, uh, the, the, the Bourjois Rouge Edition lipstick in Violin Strauss. I struggle with this that one and just yeah put it on your lips without getting it everywhere like me And there we go. That is me done. Trick for whenever you're putting on lipstick, if you put your finger in your mouth and do that, that little ring of lipstick it could have been on your teeth. Just saved your teeth. So yeah, this is final look. So whatever you're doing this bonfire night, have an incredible time and be safe. <laughs> Look after yourselves and yeah, hit the subscribe button if you want to see more from me and speak to you soon. Bye!